Oh man, my camera's trying to die. I don't know if I'm going to make this video. Maybe if I talk really, really fast, I can make it. Let me see. I'm going to try right now. Okay. I wanted to kind of come on here and talk to you guys about the top 10 things I think are really important if you're going to do the HCG protocol and also if you are struggling just period with weight loss. Um, in any journey, I feel like this, this definitely could apply to pretty much anything, but this is just what I found to be the best practices for me. So going from 10 to 1, 10 being important, 1 being most important. Um, you definitely need to safeguard yourself. Number 10, safeguard. Um, I realize that cutting off socializing and like just not putting myself in situations where I might cheat or I feel like I'm deprived or whatever was definitely the right move. It uh, created an environment for me to be successful um, in controlling myself and figuring out how to distract myself from, you know, just thinking about food and craving food all the time. So safeguard yourself even if it means not hanging out with your friends as much because you will get back to them and it'll be just fine number nine finding support i relied on uh youtube and facebook and my lovely boyfriend who's been awesome throughout this whole journey um not leaning on friends so much because they've just heard me go through this journey so many times not hcg specifically but just trying to lose weight and be successful at it so i didn't really want to bother them um, with it, but the online support that I have found has been amazing and for for me I felt like it was um, a fresh start all the way around because those people had not heard me go through this journey and They had not seen me go through this journey So it was just fresh support that I didn't feel like I was bothering anybody with and it was amazing So if you don't have people in your life who can support you um, Or you just feel like you shouldn't go to them because you've done so so many times before Online resources all the way, social media, uh, Instagram, fantastic, you know, for that kind of thing. Number eight, journaling. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. I journaled every single day, moments where I felt like I was losing myself or if I felt like, you know, I just couldn't overcome the craving and I was in a cave, like, just all of it. I put everything down on paper and I wanted to know, like, what I was feeling if I felt like I was being triggered by food or situations that led me to food. Um, you know, when I had a good day, when I had a bad day and recognizing what made it good and what made it bad and just growing from that and really taking it in as it happened. Journaling, definitely something you wanna do because it could make or break that moment where you feel like you're about to just lose yourself, you know? Number seven, take pictures i've taken so many pictures of this journey and i'm telling you when you feel like giving up or you feel like progress is not happening the scale is not moving you see those photos it will change your whole perspective and it will give you that extra uh courage that you need or not courage but extra motivation that you need to keep going um pictures don't lie like point blank i put on the tightest outfit that i had and took a picture every single week of my progress and watching that shirt and those shorts that whole outfit just fit better overall like paying attention to every little tiny detail of my body changing it was amazing like i didn't even need to motivate myself because those photos did everything for me like they don't lie so number six is boundaries um I can't tell you how many times, like just in my vacation alone, when I was hanging out with my friends and my family, I would tell them like, hey, look, I'm not eating this way, um, but I'm totally happy enjoying my healthier food and that's it. And they'd be like, oh no, come on, you gotta, don't deprive yourself. Oh, here, just have a little piece. Come on, you're not gonna have a little piece? And they're like, no. I know it's so hard for them to, you know, not do that and they don't understand that they are actually enabling me um, and pushing me back into a space that I don't want to be in. And they don't mean it, you know, maliciously. They're just like, they want me to enjoy myself. And they want me to enjoy the food because then that would equal me enjoying myself. But I know that I'm trying to get away from exactly that. 
So, have your boundaries set, stick to them, and don't be afraid to let whoever know, like, hey, like, this is what I'm doing, just let it be. Oh my God, my battery's gonna die again. Number five. Oh, a kitchen cleanse. And this is probably like what you should do anytime you are trying to be healthier. Just get the bad stuff out. Like, there's no reason for it to be around. Don't make it harder on yourself. Um, just go through your kitchen, get rid of all the junk, replace it with the good stuff, and try to keep it that way. Number four. Number four, inches. Um, I've said this so many times. The scale is not really your friend. Um, the whole reason we want to lose weight is to look thinner, right? So if you're keeping track of your inches and you're seeing that in the mirror you look smaller, the scale does not matter. Like for the HCG protocol, yes, it's kind of like you have to. But as a whole, even in maintenance, just pay attention to your inches. Use them. They will brighten your day, I promise you. Um, inches over everything else. Track them from the start so you can see all of your progress through pictures and inches. Don't wait on that. Like the day you begin, whatever your journey is, take those measurements, please. It is so essential. Number three, don't cheat. Simple as that. Um, anytime you cheat, you give yourself permission to fail. If it happens, absolutely forgive yourself. But remember why you're doing what you're doing, how important it is to you, and just don't cheat. Especially if you're doing the HCG protocol, you will gain weight the very next day and it is not worth it because it just causes an emotional battle mentally that you just don't need to put yourself through. Focus hard and stick to it. If you can't stick to it, then stop and wait until you're mentally ready because you only set yourself up for failure. So don't cheat. Number two is experiment. <laughs> I just told you not to cheat and I meant that however if you stick to those clean ingredients and um, you know maintain the calories allowed and all that you can totally like try other foods not on the original protocol like I'm talking like I ate veggie dogs um, I don't like meat on the bone so I had ground turkey ground chicken and those technically aren't in the original protocol um let's see what else I had more eggs than were rec I had more eggs than what was recommended originally, um, and I would do like if I had a stall or something like I'd do an egg fast versus doing an apple day or a steak day. Like I just I looked at the principles of how it's supposed to work and just tried you know things out. And if it you know if I stalled the next day or um my losses kind of dropped then i would know that like that food is not okay or that sauce is not okay um you know there's a lot of things that we have now that didn't exist back then when this uh protocol first came out and it's totally safe to experiment a little bit again just if you keep it within reason no added sugars um not processed or just minimally processed and stay away from the carbs. Like there's a ton of things you can try out that'll be totally fine. I had strawberries and blueberries. Um, I'm trying to think like what like I really had that was like really off protocol. But I'm totally blinking right now. But the point is, it's possible to expand your food list and see what works for your body. Because I've like this whole process is more than just following this diet for this certain amount of time like you need to reset your body you need to reset the way you eat and finding other things besides this minimal list is totally possible and you should do that anyway because you know it builds a case for longevity so yes experiment but don't cheat <laughs> number one which i feel like i've kind of said in every explanation is just focus on the journey like I can't stress that enough for you to focus on the journey as a whole, everything from the dark days, the happy days, you know, journaling and when you do finally socialize again and be able to be in environments where the food doesn't bother you, like you're not upset that you can't indulge and getting away from a uh, seeking pleasure period from the food your clothes fitting better, you liking what you see when you look in the mirror, 
you know like all of that matters maybe you'll have more energy or you'll get more sleep or you'll discover something amazing um with the the free time that you have trying to distract yourself from eating um so yeah just just focus on the journey as a whole appreciate it um give yourself a pat on the back like celebrate each and every triumph no matter how small because that is going to trump everything else that happens like it is a process and everything that happens during that process is important you are important um even if you don't lose a certain amount like you lost something and you gained knowledge you gained control and that is more precious than you know hitting 40 pounds in 30 days or something like that you know so those are my 10 tips uh that i feel are super important and i hope that you thought they were important if you guys have questions or you want to see me do a video on some certain aspect uh let me know i'm going to be doing a lot more especially in round two i'm going to be experimenting more and i will share that with you guys but if there's anything for oh my goodness if there's anything specific not pacific that you want to know uh drop it in the comment and i will be so glad to fulfill why can i not talk drop it i can't Drop it in the comments and I will be so happy to fulfill um, those requests. Yeah, those questions. I'll answer them. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Clearly, I need to go now. Bye.